Android, Fox News has you covered. With your, for, uh, just four months before the midterm elections, President Obama is trying to convince voters that the government stimulus package is indeed working. Listen. As a result of the steps that we took, an economy that was shrinking is now growing. We were bleeding jobs at a rate of 750,000 per month the January that I was sworn in. Now the economy is adding private sector jobs and has been for six straight months. But should the president be talking about progress when about 17 million Americans are still out of work? We're joined by Jim McDougall. Hope I'm saying that right. Founder of the Free Enterprise Nation and author of Unsustainable, How Big Government, Taxes, and Debt Are Wrecking America. Hi, Jim. Hi, good morning. Okay, so you heard the president yesterday in Michigan. He's saying that things are being turned around and that the stimulus is basically getting the credit. What's your response? I honestly don't know what planet he lives on. Let me give you a couple of examples. Um, in the first quarter of 2010, the people who work in the private sector earned $300 million less than they earned in the last quarter of 2007. Today, there are 3 million people fewer working in the private sector than were there 10 years ago. And we've added 40 million people to our population in the last 10 years. We're certainly not growing. Uh, and the stimulus package is, is pretty much in doubt when it comes to what the American people think. Check out this poll. They said if Congress had not passed the, the stimulus bill, we asked, uh, how would the economy be? Well, in now would be 2009, would be 22% uh, said it would be better, 31% uh, said it would be worse, and 43% said it would be the same. So, Jim, the, the president's determined to spend this summer talking about recovery and giving himself the credit, and you just don't see printing money to put projects together and to make signs about those projects being a positive uh, scenario. You know, I drove by the Smithsonian Museum yesterday, and there's a big sign that the brickwork was being rebuilt with stimulus money. I, I couldn't figure out how that was going to create a lot of jobs. No, I don't think that spending $800 billion um, giving money to states who are using it to pay their own deficits down is going to create any jobs in the private sector. And the private sector is the only place you can create jobs. Uh, but Jim, I didn't think that what the, the president was saying yesterday was that when he took office, 750,000 jobs a month were being hemorrhaged, and now that's down. Yeah, uh, it's down to 125,000. That's um, more, obviously, than anybody would like. But do you give the stimulus credit for that? No. Uh, how can you give the credit to the stimulus package for creating jobs when in the last 10 years the private sector has shrunk by 3 million jobs and government has grown by 2 million jobs when, our when we've still got 17 million people looking for work and we have 400,000 new people every week applying for unemployment? How can you say that the stimulus plan is working? Jim, thanks. Uh, it's all in detail in your book, Unsustainable, How Big Government Taxes and Debt Are Wrecking America. Jim, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank Coming up, 